walking through the store the other day and ran across this four wheel drive monster truck. Now it's got those foam tires, which means it's gonna float. <laughs> um. <laughs> We're getting to the table, let's go. There the beast is. I gotta say it looks pretty darn awesome. I'm not expecting much power out of it. Not expecting much of that, but it is four wheel drive, which means when I float this thing, it should have some control. Now, the remote control here, you got this wiring you gotta take out. You got an owner's manual, got a couple batteries and new bright flags because this is a new bright, right? Uh, yep, let me go and get this uh, stuff all taken care of here. Had to do a little bit of work. That is not wanting to come out. You kind of has kind of has to pull like that. Not a very good way to get that open. But this is how you charge your deal right here with a USB. Pull this out. Oh wow! I pulled the whole uh, the whole plug adapter off. Let's see what we get here. Yep, that one did the same thing. And all that does is that leaves a couple pins in there, so nothing's damaged. It's all good. Again, it says go this way. Am I supposed to push on that? Oh, wow, these are... Not the easiest of, uh, there we go. <laughs> wow, what a challenge that was. It's not proportional. You guys ready? Let's fire this thing up. Oh, nice. Woo, it's on. Steering looks to be fairly strong. It does have a spool in it. There is no differential. Let's see if I can push some buttons. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. I guess I have to let it time out. ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing outside. First thing to do, hit that throttle. Not bad. Oop. Nice!
you know, this wasn't bad. This wasn't bad at all. And I'm going to put a real radio in it. As far as like taking off the body, I've already got that loose. It's just like a board in there with a the speaker and all that stuff, a little motor shaker and all that. But um, yeah, all that's going to come out. I'm going to put a regular pistol grip radio, something, probably just something, I, something a take out of something. It's not going to take much. But I'm going to put a real radio in this thing, a real ESC, a takeout ESC, probably a Trax SC, XL5 or something. I don't know. But I got to figure something out with the steering. When I get all that figured out, you guys will see a video because I'm about to cut the steering on this thing. It doesn't, um, it doesn't lend itself well to servos. Got to do cutting and customizing and all that stuff. So I'll show you. It doesn't look too hard though. I've done it before on the big grave digger with the tires like that. But this is four wheel drive and I really want to float this thing. Hopefully you guys like the video. I'll put a link down below. Uh, got this from the local Walmart, by the way. And you know what? I'm happy with it. It's going to get some mods though. Minor mods. Okay. The mods are going to be like four times the cost of the truck. Okay. Just putting that out there. You guys are awesome. Catch you later. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, yeah. Links below. Use all that wonderful stuff. You guys are awesome. And um, catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.